Wake up, sleepyheads, and what's up? P to the J, PJ here, back on Madden 20, the first scheme video of the year. I've got a really freaking fire scheme to start this year off. We're in the Panthers, the Carolina Panthers playbook. We're not going to waste any time. I have got a ton of plays and schemes out of this playbook that I am definitely going to start this year off right for you guys with. Don't worry, I've got you covered, especially in the pistol. I know a lot of you guys are asking for that. It's coming, trust me. But I'm telling you, especially with uh, the house rules coming out today, this scheme that I'm going to show you first is going to help you get so many easy wins right off the bat. It's in the split, the gun split Panther. That's where we're going to start off today. I'm going to show you a bunch of plays, about four or five. Uh, we'll probably do five. Five play scheme in this formation alone you can literally run this the whole time all right so we're going to set up our audibles the first play you're going to you you can do whatever you want but the first play i'm going to put in my um rotation of audibles is going to be the slot post angle and then you can go over to double ends that's another good play we're going to use the corner strike is also a good play that you can come out in or add in your audibles as well and then we're going to go ahead and catch the pa y slide we're going to put that in and then you can run either a draw or the inside zone as your running play both are good the inverted veer is whatever it's really tough to run in my opinion so i stick with the draw or the inside zone and then that's it. And then we'll we'll just get on the field and let's get it. We got the Jacksonville Jaguars defense. They're the best defense, I think, in the game still. Cowboys are catching them, but so we're starting off with the best D to let you guys know that this will work and this does work in head-to-head. -head. We can lead. I've already tried it. We'll come out in big nickel. Let's just go cover two and let's let's get into it. All right, the first play is the draw. We're just gonna get the run play out of the way. Very simple. You can run it, no adjustments needed ignore that play that is not typical you're probably going to get about six to seven yards plus every time you run this play you, you see the blocking is really good on this play it, it's just this is a very steady staple run play that you can go to to catch your opponent off guard but you can see right here with these runs you're getting really good blocking we can even take this one to the house as we're going to do right here with big z you're, you're, you can get one play touchdowns with this run now what you can also do on this draw play and I recommend is motion over this receiver on the right side of the field. This will help with the pass plays I'm going to show right after this. It gives you a nice little scheme to confuse your opponents with just these two plays. You just motion him over to the left and then snap the ball as soon as he crosses the line of scrimmage. You can let him set up too first if you want. It doesn't matter. But it, the first play we're going to show that goes with this run is the, uh, the corner play. All right, corner strike. What you're going to do is you're going to slant your X receiver and then you're going to motion the B receiver over. Now notice the C route does not flip like a lot of routes. And that is what I love about this concept. You can do this in a lot of other formations too. I showed this last year as well, but it's just nasty at picking apart a user. Make sure you put A on a streak to clear out and then just snap the ball. Your first read is X in the middle of the field wide open. Now, if the user starts to user that which is going to, then you just do the same adjustments. You're going to slant your X receiver, Y, X, and then right on the right thumbstick, motion B over, clear out A with a streak or a fade, it doesn't matter. You can block your both running backs as well, but I like to put a Y in a check and release just in case they don't block, then you got an extra receiver on the left. But you see right there, B wide open down the middle of the field, even deeper. So if the user covers that slant, you wait another second, and then you've got B on that inverted C route wide open behind it. It works against any coverage, but cover two, you can get one play touchdowns out of. Um, you can also add uh, your running back on a wheel route just to mix it up. Sometimes it gets open, but really you're looking for X and B or in the flats with uh, your RB route. Those are your reads for that play. Mix those two up and you'll have your opponent doing fits. The next play we're going to get into is going to be PAY slide, all right? Let's show you how it looks right off the bat. As is, no adjustment. I mean, this play is really good as is if you want to run it like this off of a run. But what we're going to do is we're going to streak A, which is Y, and then A, and then up on the left thumbstick. And then once you get that look, you want to slant your X receiver, which I showed how to do earlier. And then you are going and, and 
actually right here you can leave the play as is right here too it's really nasty just like that but what i like to do on top of that is put my y receiver and my y running back in some kind of route it doesn't matter because what we're going to do is motion the running back over and get this trips look then i'm going to put him on a zig route you can leave him on that swing if you want i think the zig route works a lot better for this especially with people that blitz a lot it's a great check down especially with rb going the other way you can hit the flats on either way so that you see i snapped the ball wise wide open immediately it's very quick uh, most guys who are running pinch bucko they can't keep up and you can hit that check down all day all right but outside of that just set the play back up how i had it before streak a Slant X, motion over Y after you put him in some kind of route because you can't move him on the play action. Put him in that zig, and then you're looking for X. That's your other good read right across the middle. If the user is playing somewhere else or is not very good or doing whatever, that's gonna be wide open if he's a D-line user or something like that. But the big hitter on the big money play on this route, on this uh, play, the big money route on this play is the B route. The A, the A streak is gonna clear it out. And then if you can get just a little bit of time, you've got B wide open down the middle of the field, especially if they don't put a deep blue in the middle if they're playing cover two or if they don't user it or cross man it. If they don't do any of that, it's going to be wide open all the time down the middle of the field. And it is even so nasty against um, cover three or cover four and man coverage, especially if your B receiver is really fast. If you can just wait a second, then you've got all kind of space to throw on the left side of the field. And in cover three, it's even nastier. This is how I get a lot of one play touchdowns. So those of you with bazooka on Mahomes and stuff, use this play and you'll activate that real quick. Like let's just go to cover three real quick and I'll show you exactly how it sets up. Now for this against cover three, if you notice they're running cover three a lot, motion them over the same way but you can leave x on that comeback route or you can put them on an out route if you want to it doesn't matter it's up to you you can keep them on the slant as well i tend to against cover three put them on that on a leave them on that comeback because the out route i don't i don't want to take too much time audible in for him so just put him on the comeback and then motion over if you've got to avoid the rush you see wide open if we were farther back down the field he could keep running and get a one play touchdown that way play is great for against cover three it's really good against cover three but the next play we're going to go into is the double end this is how it looks straight up with no adjustments the only adjustments you're going to make on this play is that you're going to put and this play is good as is, but you're going to put your Y on the streak route. So Y, then Y again, up on the left thumb stick. And then you're going to move the running back over to the right, just like the last play. We want to keep the same look so your opponent doesn't know what's coming, right? And this is how it's going to look with that. Now with A, you can leave him on that in route that he's on. It's a weird looking in route. I like to put him on a regular in route. Do not put him on a drag unless they were blitzing a lot because a drag messes it up for some reason. So put them on a regular in route or leave it like it is. And then you see to cover two, cover four even, wide open down the middle, that running back. And it has to be user. If you've got somebody fast or has the mismatch kim, easy money touchdowns right there. Same, we'll do it again, same setup, streak wide, motion them over. And then I'm gonna show you the other reads. You've got A down the middle of the field, easy read if the user starts chasing that running back or going somewhere else. That's open, and then we're gonna set it up again real quick. Same adjustment, streak Y, motion over to the right, and then you've got the backside in route, the B route, if you need a little bit more time, or the user follows A, you've got B right behind them in perfect timing, okay? Watch that jam. Sometimes he gets jammed up just because of how the route is, but other than that, it should be wide open, all right? And then after that, if you need an extra time for this, because you're trying to set up X, you might block your other running back and then just roll out and you see he gets wide open against cover two. Cover three, he gets open as well, but it really, really works against man coverage. It is a nasty man beating play. But again, we're just gonna set up the same exact uh, motion, same exact uh, reads. And then you see against cover three, I switched it to cover three. You can still look at that running back. He sits, there's a perfect little cushion right behind that yellow zone that gets open wait a second and then you can hit it and without people being able to alert you can get easy touchdowns like that but this play is straight up ready for man coverage if they're doing a lot of man blitzes just keep that tight end blocked try and you can even slide protect to the left and then try to roll out here and look how wide open 
that X receiver gets on that double move. And if you put double move Kims on your receiver, it's even nastier. It gets open faster, trust me. Now the next play we're gonna get into is slot post angle. This is how it looks set up without any adjustments. All we're gonna do is put RB in a check and release. So Y, then you're gonna put RB and then down on the right thumbstick. And it looks like this. You're gonna motion over your running back, same as all the other plays. And then this is a golden play right here. You can put X on the streak if you want. Sometimes he gets wide open, the corner will dumb out and just let him go for a touchdown. But I like to leave him on the uh, comeback route. And just snap the ball. Your first read is gonna be the flats, but you've got this wide running back route gets open against every coverage. I was using this last year. I actually showed you guys that in the last video. It gets, in the last year's video, it gets so open and no one is expecting that route to happen. Once you start using it a bunch, then the user will start covering it. And this is when you can hit A right behind it, deep down the middle of the field. It's another play to pick on the user. It's very, very tough to stop. And it looks like all the other plays that we're running. So the user, if you mix it up right, he doesn't know what's coming when, all right? So you can really keep him confused in the middle of the field. Again, you've got your check down. This is open all the time, very consistent. If you need a good five yards or he actually covers everything else, you always have that check down on the check and release. Unless he's blitzing, then you might have to scramble or throw it away. You know, if he heavy blitzes, he'll stay back to a block for you. But um, if we switch it up to cover three really quick, this is a great play to running as cover three. Every single route gets wide open except for X most of the time, especially this out route. This is a very consistent, great route to run against cover three spammers because you can get 10, 15 yards easy with that. And, and that's consistent, okay? Sometimes the corner will jump it, but he has to be a really good corner to jump that. Otherwise, you're good. All right, now if we're going cover three again, like I said, every route against cover three gets open except for X for the most part. A gets wide open, butt naked field, and if you have a lot of time, a little bit extra time, you can hit that for a one play touchdown, no problem. But really, you're, you're looking for your wide receiver. That is the main read of this play. This is the play that's gonna get you big plays and really start the chain for your scheme to happen. Because once he cut, once he get freaks out by that play, it cannot be covered or manned up. No, you have to use her. The user has to use her that play to stop it. But that's the scheme. Go out, hit practice mode, try it a little bit. Go get some wins using it. Let me know how it works for you. Like this video if you did enjoy it. And until next time, keep grinding, stay shining. Peace.